Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1% play to start at 20x7 and Ultraviolence. This is map 8, Grand Ballroom. Alright, with a map title like this, it's time to do a bit of dancing. So, in the first area here, we're just not gonna shoot anything, we're just gonna dance around the enemies, through the Mekiba and the Imps, and then the Revenants will leave this place so we can get the Super Shotgun. Then we dance around the Cyberdemon so it starts infighting. Just like that. Grab the supercharge because why not? This map gives a lot of supercharges, so I don't mind using up one like that. So once you grab all the rockets and the super shotgun, you just drop down here. And here it's relatively chill, just gotta beware. Check your back. Because when you stand here the enemies can hit you. But yeah, once you drop down, like this, you're safe. Except that when you enter this room, there's gonna be two archfiles, and that's the reason why I'm kind of chilling here. Because then I can get rid of the revenants before the archfiles start zapping me. So here they are. They're stationary, so they're not that bad. They just need to hold still so they don't waste any rockets. And then there's four more revenants, but they are no big deal. Plenty of cover, plenty of room to move around, so delete them. Also these two. You, wanna, um, you may want to save up on armor for a specific fight, but we won't be there in a like two more minutes, so press the switch that will lower the teleporter. And here we have the chain gunner staircase. It looks intimidating, but it's not that bad. So just shoot some rockets that will kill most of them, and then as you climb up, wow, okay, that never happened before. All my armor gone. Oh boy, oh, that's okay. Yeah, sometimes you can get unlucky and uh, not kill a lot of. Chain gunners, I guess, but like I said, that rarely happens. I got uh, pretty unlucky there. Anyway, to kill these parents, I just shoot rockets here because this way I also kill a Hell Knight, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. So once the Hell Knight dies, I just hop back in and just super shotgun them to death along with this Hell Knight. And beware when you grab the rockets, it's a booby trap. It's only three shotgunners, it's no big deal, but the supercharge is really nice to have. And then there's a very weird secret here, you can jump through the wall for a berserk and computer area map, and a pretty obscure plasma, uh, plasma rifle. I wonder how many people know about that one, because it's not a secret. It's a non-secret in a secret. And the plasma is essential for this fight. Or else, you're gonna have a hard time getting through these imps. And I'll switch over to the rocket launcher to kill them even faster when they are further away from me. And I'll just camp here a tiny bit until I have like 10 rockets left or something. This will do. And the rest I will super shotgun. And I'm standing in a very specific spot here. Because you may have noticed the side demon all the way in the back there. He can snipe you and he can hit you. And these. Oh, never mind. Uh, normally there are Kaku demons here, but not today. Oh, okay. Yeah, normally Kaku demons are trying to snipe you from the right side, but. Oh, side demon shot me. Mickey bastards. You can actually make an infight with the Rankichon if you want. But let's do that. Just to watch the fireworks. Did he get hit? I don't think so, but uh, the Mancubus can hit him instead. There, go in fight. Hey! Alright, so this is the first truly difficult fight. Uh, there's gonna be two Cyber Demons, uh, with the second one appearing uh, like after 10 seconds or something. And three Arch Valves that start off stationary, and then again after 10 seconds they uh, can roam freely. So what I do is I kill these two Arch Valves first. Quickly, before the Hell Knights uh, block off the access to the cells here. 
And then, plan next plan is to go for the Megasphere. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Grab the Megasphere. Hope that the Cyberdemon continues infighting. Let's kill these Honets, because they're not targeting the Cyberdemon. They're dangerous. Okay, Cyberdemon, continue infighting. I kind of want the Cyberdemon to die first. And since it's distracted... There we go. Nice. Uh oh. Cyberdemon number two is here. Okay, let's grab this Megasphere as well. Get rid of the third Archfile. And there we go. We're, we're safe. For the time being. Now we just get to... Uh, gotta get rid of this Cyberdemon. And he's busy infighting. Let's chill here a bit. I'm gonna save cells, so I'm gonna... Not waste any cells on the side of the just super shotgun him to death. In fights? Where are you going? Come on, hit the Hell Knight. Yeah, there you go. So the side is trying to attack me, Hell Knights will... Uh... Oh, never mind. Okay. Should be dead soon, hopefully. I'm not sure how much he actually did infighting with the other enemies, but he's a goner. Okay. Hell Knights uh, killed Revenant, I guess. I don't know which one you're trying to kill. That one? Okay. Oh no, wait. That one? Okay. Yeah, you, you can uh, kill Revan for me, I'll kill the others. Don't get hit. What? What hit me? Oh, DMs. Okay. Good job. Oh, there's another Revenant here. May as well kill him. Why not? Not really necessary, but... Uh, Whatever. Anyway, we have the yellow key now. So now we can press this switch to open up the wall. Oh, I don't like the this corpse there. I don't like that corpse there at all. Let's block off the access to the corpse. There we go. All right, that's the first difficult fight. And we got a yellow key, which means we can also grab the um, EFG. Yeah, that sometimes happens. There's two archfiles and uh, when you telefract that Cyberdemon, most of the time they will oh, uh, try to zap you. Maybe next time I should kill the Archfall first, but whatever. There's so many supercharges and mega armors in this map that in the first area it doesn't really matter if you take a lot of damage. Alright, and now comes the part where we uh, get rid of the Revenants here. It's not very exciting, but I'll do my best to kill them. Quickly. And the side demon is gonna say hello. Hello. What you up to? How much did you infight? Oh yeah, I'm wasting my uh, armor a bit. Uh, might as well kill this archer here real quick. There. Alright, yeah, let's just kill the uh, side demon here. This is a bit of a safe space you can use to uh, do minimal rocket dodging, but uh, a lone Cyberdemon is not very scary in an area like this. Alright, um, so let's do a bit of cleanup. I still need to get rid of all those mancubi, so let's fire some rockets. Uh, not too many, because I still need to kill an archfall here and in that area there's another two archfalls but you get two boxes of rockets so ammo wise should be fine so yeah archfalls will appear here along with two chain gunners but it's no big deal at all and you get another supercharge 
And guess what? A mega armor too. And yeah, this is the reason why I killed those revenants um, before I grabbed the yellow key. Because it lowers them. And you have to deal with five revenants in a pretty cramped space. And you will take unnes unnecessary damage. Which you don't want. Oh, speaking of unnecessary damage. Yeah, let's uh, press the switch to lower the imps and unlock a new area. And now we also need to get rid of these mancubi. Alright. And you can cross this gap and a little platform will appear. And you can grab a secret mega armor, which I don't need right now. So I'll save it for later. And there we go. Beginning area cleaned up. Now this is the next fight, which is pretty tricky without a BFG, so let's go get a BFG. So when you have the yellow key, you can lower this BFG, but beware, it will spawn Archos, of course. What else? It's only two, it's not that bad. And look, this is a really cool area. How about a moment of appreciation? Yeah, good idea. With the fake floor and the, the cool lighting and stuff, it looks great. And this is the exit, but uh, we need to get stuff first. Anyway, move on to this area. We've got a chain on us, no big deal. And now, prepare the BFG to kill the Archie here. Then run away with the plasma and get rid of two revenants and two shotgunners. Shotgunners probably here. Yeah. Okay, I got both. And now we can kill the Archie. There we go. Revenant also needs to be deleted. And we're gonna super shotgun the Baron to death. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. And we get another supercharge. See, I told you. You get uh, quite a lot of them. And we're back here. But thankfully, it is all clear. So let's move on to this fight. It's gonna be a, a big Kakodemon cloud with three pain elementals, two Mankibai, and a Cyberdemon. And the first thing we wanna kill is, of course, the Cyberdemon, because he is kinda scary. So, nice distraction there. That should kill him. Kill the pain elementals too. Then, kill some Kakos. Not waste too many shells, because we need them for uh, future fights. I'll uh, fire two more shots, and then I'll switch over to the rocket launcher or something. Or a super shotgun. Actually, I need to um, get rid of the Erectrons. Believe it or not, but they deal the most damage sometimes in this fight, because they're really sniping you from very annoying positions. And I can invite with the Kakodemons, I guess, but uh, the Kakodemons get absolutely decimated. Okay, that one is dead. How about this one? Who's gonna win? Place your bets. Oh! I did not expect the Kakodemon to win, actually. And... we got four archers in there. Two of them are stationary, though, but... Uh, while you're fighting the Kakos, you kinda don't want to wake him up. Hello. You were asleep. Now you go back to sleep. And yeah, these are stationary, they don't really do much. Alright, so... Here's a fun area, but before I go there, I'm gonna... Just get fully stacked. It is very much needed. This is the second difficult fight, I would say. The Hell Knight Baron uh, Cafe. 
I uh, don't gonna explain what's gonna happen. You're gonna have to see because, uh, well, it just speaks for itself. Uh, so yeah, let's go grab the secret mega armor that we skipped. There we go. Still have a spare supercharge there for whatever reason. Get the DFG ready. <coughs> Excuse me again. Something's up in my voice today. And let's go. So I have no words for this. But uh, it's a bit RNG heavy because you get the you need the cyber demons to infight, and the one in the back is not shooting. Oh now he is. Oh my god. That was clutch. See? You can get nasty really fast. And I also kinda need to get out of here. Fast. He's targeting me. No, you don't. Can I need to get out of here? That cyber demon is uh, dead meat. And now we just need to finish off the remaining Hell Knights and Barons. And I only have one shot left to escape. So this can go bad if I do this poorly. But I have plenty of space to move around, so all is well. Alright. So yeah, a bit of an RNG fight. Depends if these Cybermans want to cooperate. And you saw that the one in the back just didn't want to shoot me. Well, thankfully, I managed to get the Megasphere after eating that phase rocket. Well, not my own phase rocket, but the side demon shot me in the face. And you still get a Megasphere, a second Megasphere, so... It is easy to recover, but uh, if you run out of cells or something, or the side demons just don't want to infight at all, you're pretty screwed. But yeah, nasty, nasty fight. And to continue just grab that armor bonus, I waited before grabbing it because it adds four or three barons extra. And if they roam around with the cyber demons dead, then um, it gives you less space to move. So I wait before grabbing the armor bonus, just in case. Anyway, there's only one more difficult fight left, it's the final fight. And there's also a secret fight if you grab this black key. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why this is here. It's a really easy fight. It gives you a BFG and it gives you two key cards. One of which I already have. Yeah, it's a bit strange. But yeah, it's a really easy fight as you can see. Which is a bit unusual for Riddix because normally the secret fights are the trickiest ones. But yeah, now we have the purple key, which means we can uh, exit the map. But as you can see, we have 12 enemies left. And 8 of them are Archfrost and 4 of them are Cyberdoons. And this fight is very hectic, but it's uh, it looks more difficult than... The doorbell rang, sorry. Well, that was really bad timing, the doorbell rang, and uh, as you can hear, Tushi went nuts, the dog. Uh, that's what you do, that's what happens with raw footage, I guess. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the Cybe Demons. Oh, that sucks. Um, okay, I'm not gonna, not sure if I want to edit it out, but uh... Yeah, it's raw. I cannot help it. Doorbells uh, ring once in a while, but um, anyway, Cyberdemons. So this is a pretty hectic fight because you want to get rid of these two Cyberdemons 
as soon as possible. Then, we've got more Rajvas coming over here, along with Cyber Demons. And you can just use the Street Sweeper method to get rid of all the Archies. And when the Cyber Demon gets too close, you just get the heck out. And only two enemies left. And there we go. There we go. We finished the map with the dog barking in the background. I'll uh, make sure to lower the, <laughs> the sound volume. Um, because she barks really loud, as you can hear. But yeah, <laughs> very interesting video, that's for sure. Um, yeah, that's the, I think that's the first time she actually barked during a run. But yeah, I got really unlucky with the with the doorbell. It's it's not that late. It's 5:20 p.m. Uh, postman still work, I guess, during these hours. But um, the bad thing is, it wasn't even my package. It was for the neighbors. But uh, whatever. Um, grand ballroom. Yeah, this is a. Um, really fun map like it's just constant hectic fights three of them are pretty damn difficult with the um, baron or hellnet cafe being kind of rng heavy uh, pretty sure uh, a1's knows because he got left with one hp during his detour which is absolutely insane after what two hours of gameplay or something Ooh, very nerve-wracking and um thankfully this went Pretty smoothly outside the doorbell ringing, but uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, very cool map, lovely aesthetics. Uh, music, honestly, got a bit annoying because it reminded me of uh, Rippling Legion from uh, Micro Slaughter. And it's a pretty short loop, it gets grading after a while, but uh, it's cool. It's all, uh, it's all part of the map, I guess. And uh, very enjoyable, and uh, actually not too difficult compared to, uh, again, maps 4, 5, 6. Uh, I had to grind this one a bit, but uh, with proper routing, you just need to uh, get good with the three difficult fights. But yeah, cool stuff. Up next is, you could say, the final map, map 9. There's still uh, two secret maps left, which I'll do after that, but um, map 9 is the big boy. I haven't played it yet, so I hope it's not too bad. Some say it's the hardest one, some say it's relatively easy, but um, guess I'll see, reach down. Alright, I'll see you guys in map 9 then.